a first Grand Slam final without first Nadal sets. or Murray. Novak Djokovic to serve. Years. Ready. History beckons Play. for both. Play ball. Dirty love. Twice the Wimbledon champion, working 13, with Roger Federer this year, warmed him up this morning, and was really tight. Just 20 minutes. What? 40, 15 was a lovely drop volley that Federer hit, but uh, I think by the crowd's reaction, it's fairly obvious who the crowd favourite is. only their second meeting in the final of a major championship. Their first was uh, the 2007 US Open. Federer won that. But this is actually their 35th meeting. It's a great rivalry. They should know each other's game by now. <laughs> I would you know, say so. In big, in big situations, in, uh, you know, not, not only on major stages, but in many tournaments around the world. So looking forward to see who comes up with something special. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Well, Roger's smart to take this out of the air, but he just didn't do quite enough with it. A little short in the court. Djokovic with a winning forehand. Calm on the outside, Federer, but the heart will be racing. He had to put a few sprinting meters in there. 
their service game under threat. You sometimes think it might take a few games to find your rhythm, find your timing, but these two have hit the ground running. with stats here but 89 service games in this championship for Roger Federer he's won 88 of them and that's a one-two punch again Advantage started out quickly Federer. hitting his mark he opens the whole court up Sense. Novak Djokovic, most people's um, favorite in terms of uh, the professionals who, who deal in these things. The public saying they expect Federer to win, 63% of them in our vote. Love. Tells you something about Djokovic's achievements in the game. Federer has won this seven times. The only finally lost year here was probably the best match ever played, 2008. That's how well you have to play to beat Federer on centre court. Oh! Mr. Djokovic is challenging the call on the right centre service line. The ball's got out. Second service. <laughs> Thirty love. Mr. Djokovic has two challenges remaining. Tim, I, I never played with uh, the challenge system with Hawkeye. I said, how, how would you have handled that? Would you uh, use them early up like uh, Novak did there, or would you save them? I think it's a field thing, isn't it? Uh, you want to make sure that you've got a few challenges left for, left for the business end of the set. Game Djokovic. Djokovic leads by two games to one, first set. Well, Roger Federer doesn't trail in the record books at Wimbledon on too many counts, but he hasn't won as many matches as Jimmy Connors here in the commentary books. He's only won 73, Jimmy. Hey. Oh, he got 84. <laughs> well, I've played a few years longer than, than he has so far, but uh, you know the way he's playing, even though he is 32 years old, uh, he should uh, stay around another couple of years and bypass that record for sure. It's a rare thing indeed, over 30 years of age to be picking up Grand Slam titles. The lots of Leva, Rosewell and Agassi. Federer is trying to do that uh, today. And um, that's why he's coming into the net more, Tim, right? I think sometimes, yeah, he, uh, he wants to try and shorten those points, but uh, he is the most offensive player in the tournament, probably in the, in the game. And there was another man that liked to get to the net pretty often, Rod Laver. He right. told us that when he won, uh, Rod Laver won in 61 for the first time, he got 15 pound voucher and a firm Sorry. handshake. <laughs> There we got the Duke and Duchess there, Jill Brook, the wife of the chairman, uh, Phil Brook. 
his, Kenny, his, Kenny Rosewell up there as well. Uh, you demolished him, 74. You were so unkind. Yeah, but seeing, seeing uh, Rod and Ken up there, I mean, could you imagine what they're thinking now out of everything that they put into to the game to make it what it is today? they got to be very proud. Fifteen all. I've seen two uh, shots of, of Edberg influence. One is the chip back in return. Wow, what a shot. That's no easy task. 40-15. That's yeah, a good serve and volley. Good lob, but look at look at the athleticism. That's one tough shot. Out. Game Federer. <laughs> Two games all, first set. To finish my point, I'm sorry, but uh, the other the other is the hitting the ground stroke deep and and allowing Novak to be a little late and sneaking in behind it and catching the ball a little higher above the net for a volley. Edberg was great at that. Fifteen love. Let's for service. Thirty love. First ace of the match. That top spin that time bounced right up into the hitting zone of the Djokovic forehand, able to flatten it out and hit an outright winner. Game Djokovic. Djokovic leads by three games to two, first set. Talking with Novak Djokovic yesterday, 2011, 2012, he was he was unbelievable. Whenever he was in a slam final, he sort of started as favourite. You really felt he was taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Finished both those years number one in the world, but he's lost the last three Grand Slam finals that he's been in. That's some pressure on Djokovic's sh shoulders, wouldn't you say? Tim? Yeah, I think so. And it's uh, it's again that's where the the mental aspect is going to be so important. You know, he will be aware of that. But now, when he gets out on the court, he's got to forget all about that and and really continue to play the way that he started because he's striking the ball fantastically well. 
no unforced errors, is aggressive, is looking to dominate Federer, and it's going to be interesting who can get the first opportunities. But, but he's there. He's in the finals. Even though he's lost the last three, he is giving himself chances to win more Grand Slam events, China. even though he hasn't. So he knows his game is good enough to get him there. So what's he have to do to get over the hump to win? You know, and, and I think with, with Becker in his corner, I think that's one, one of the reasons that he has come in to give him just that little extra something. Always changes and innovations here. That's the champion's gate in front of Boris Becker there. So no more of the undignified clamber, I'm afraid. Ah! 30 15. Do not become predictable. On the serve direction. Uh, I was just about to say that the, also that uh, that he's serving and volleying. It's okay to mix it up, but that, it's not as. It's not his comfort zone, I don't think, as of yet. Again, Federer. <laughs> Three games all, first set. One significant difference today in the semi-finals, the court was much dustier at the back of the court, and I think that's one of the reasons why Djokovic and Dimitrov were sliding into so many shots. Looks much drier. 15 love. Well, that semi-final was a very windy day, wasn't it? Would that ha hamper Novak's movement, do you think, a little bit more? I don't think he'll be able to slide quite as much. Seen him slide on a hard court, so anything's possible. Mm -hmm. Right. I saw that. He got the short reply off the Federer That's backhand, enough. moved his feet, got to the ball, really took his time nice, didn't rush, no panic. leads by four games to three for set. Well, Novak Djokovic is nine for nine when he gets his first serve in. So he is 
nailing his own service games. The opening stages here on centre court, the final of the men's singles championship 2014. Uh, the hill absolutely covered, and I hope it's comfortable out there. Quite a warm day, 21, 22 degrees. So stay nice and warm, and don't lean back, whatever you do, back there. And uh, a final of intensity building here, no break points as yet. Five former champions were in the draw. Leighton Hewitt lost in the second round. Nadal lost in the fourth round, of course, to Nick Kyrgios, the young Australian player. And the defending champion Andy Murray lost in the quarterfinals to Grigor Dimitrov, who was then beaten Time. by Novak Djokovic. So we arrive with just two players left, and they happen to be two of the five champions that entered the draw in the first place. It's a great stage centre court, and we have great acting talent with us, including John Hurt. Great to see him here. Bradley Cooper, Samuel L. Jackson, and so many others. Up in the Royal Box and around the place. 3 4. Fifteen love. Thirty love. His fastest serve of the tournament, 127 miles an hour. That one, 120. It's about where he's placing it. That's what counts today. That's some backhand reply. 13, Defense there and Federer, the shot a little little bit short and bounces right into his hitting zone. How he steps into it, stays low through it. Forty fifteen. That's Hinman style tennis. <laughs> Serve and volley. I wish. Advantage Federer. The, the first glimmer of an opportunity there with Djokovic at Juice on the Federer serve. Two first serves and a thumping forehand. Gets Federer back on level terms. This is the first returning game with the new tennis ball, so Federer electing to take out a new racket. The old one wasn't broken.
do not know what to make of Thomas of this standard. A little cat and mouse tennis there. You don't see slices like that, generally speaking, no. down at your local club. There's, and they're also used to the power tennis. Nice to see the guys mixing it up some. Now, I think that was due to Roger Federer's moving his feet and, and trying to get ready for the next shot. Novak took his eye off the ball, watching Roger get the ball long. Glimmer of hope for Federer here, 15-30. That's you all. Djokovic leads by five games to four, first set. That was an absolute illustration of why Djokovic, while he was out, it could have been challenged by Federer, he didn't, should have done, should be a second serve, but we've just seen an illustration of why Djokovic has the record that he has. 15-30 down, he's just missed a terrible forehand, the crowd are ooing and ahhing, and he comes back with big serving, doesn't blink. Credit to him. This was this slice exchange that uh, they had on Djokovic's serve at Love 15, and... You heard the oohs and ahs from the crowd, but that point was no laughing matter for, for both players. Big year for both these players, of course. Twins are two months old. Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, twins, newborn Leo and Lenny, to join Charlene and Myla. The uh, Federer twins. So we have two sets of twins in that, in that family. Well, it's actually three sets because Roger's sister also has twins. Diana. And so Robbie Federer was saying that when they're at tournaments and they're helping with the two sets of Roger's twins, they then leave the tournament going away to have a break and then their daughter also turns up with a pair of twins. So sometimes Love working hard at your tennis doesn't look so bad, right? <laughs> Smart play from Djokovic. Not only did he hit the good return, he then followed it in behind. Was able to wrong foot Federer.
Well, that was a deep slice with pace. Djokovic couldn't handle it. Novak was picking on the Federer backhand there. Great movement around the court by Roger. Thank you. Draws the air from Djokovic. got a dry volley like that it's very difficult to play it safely you really have to commit to the shot and accelerate with the racket head Federer just tried to push it a little bit Spectacular court coverage and by both Beach, players, Federer. but Federer gets a short ball, moves in close, calmly hits the volley into the open court. Games all first set. Well, Djokovic's adopters have got to be screaming at him after that rally. That was a real test for Federer, and he came through it. Is he going to be able to do this against Djokovic from the back of the court over five sets? We'll see. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen.
That's your first lingering look from Djokovic up to his supporters after that error on the forehand side. Folks. James Kjotovong on his game. I thought James Gjorthavon was on his game, but that Novak Djokovic serve was on the outside edge of the line, and if he goes on to lose serve here, it's a big call. Advantage Djokovic. leads by six games to five first set to be fair I mean that's what the Hawkeye system is for isn't it just to uh, back up the umpires James Kjotovong is in his 50th Grand Slam it's his first Wimbledon final and uh, a great honor and it's well deserved as well so everyone makes mistakes it's, it's a, a very high standard first set isn't it certainly is I mean in all aspects of both players games the serving has been uh, very accurate very fast there's been very few unforced errors from the baseline, both players striking the ball cleanly, moving well. Who do you think is going to win right now, Jimmy? Well, I, I, if Federer can hold up to the to the pressure from the from the Djokovic ground strokes, because he is picking on his backhand a little bit, then then Ro Roger's got a great chance to win. But I think that's going to be the tale. So uh, right right now, it's such a high quality. Both players playing well at the same time. Uh, I, I'm going to go with uh, Djokovic in five. Five cents would be fine. Time. It's really going to be interesting who who can maintain this level is there going to be a little dip in form from one of them towards the end of a set miss a few first serves serving to stay in the first set again Roger Federer <laughs> 15 love But just to follow up on my pick, I haven't picked a winner in a long time, so don't go with me if you're out there betting on this match. <laughs> Let's for service. Gives it a little extra lift there with his body. 14 15. <laughs> 
Six games all for said tiebreak. Both, Both the, players received one Both have won important tiebreaks in this championship already. Djokovic over Dimitrov, two of them, sets three and four. Federer, second set against Vavrinka. Shootout time, six games all. Zero, Federer. Federer did a good job of just making Djokovic play the volley. Djokovic not so comfortable in the forecourt. Pretty clear where Djokovic is centering his attack on Federer's game, peppering the backhand. <laughs> but I, I think eight in a row to the same spot is just a few too many. You know, he should have mixed it up a little bit. Yeah, Roger just got in a comfort zone there. Novak paid the price for it. to Fedora. Four two, Federer. Federer changed rackets last summer after his early loss to Stokowski here at Wimbledon. Not the uh, make of racket, but the size of the head. And one of the areas that he wanted to improve was the slice backhand, the control on the backhand side. And it looks in great shape at the moment. Still a long way to go to win this first set. Agent, mum, wife. All behind their man. He has a 4-2 lead, three points from the set.
Four, I like three, your, Federer. I liked your point earlier, Tim, when, when you said that if they can keep up this level of play, this is such high quality. And it's just the first set. Back on serve. Two backhand errors in a row. Four all. Djokovic. Great point. You see shock of it chasing after that drop shot there. Almost made it. Panting hard. Five points all. It's a fabulous return. Exactly. I know it looked like Six an error from Federer, in some ways it was, but there are so many in this draw that wouldn't have got a record on that ball, certainly not made something happen. Well, Roger has been going wide on the, in the deuce court quite often, so I think Novak was a little hedging that way. Still had to make it and force the error. Set point. All. It's so funny with Becker and Edberg who are playing every single point with their men. They played exactly the same amount of times as their charges here. They, they know what the pressure is like down on the court playing against each other in a, in, in a big Wimbledon final also. Wonder what the feeling is like sitting in the stands for them. The same? Worse. Worse. Seven six, Djokovic. I think that was the right idea, chipping and coming in behind it. Nice idea, poor yeah. execution. Yep. Seven zero.
seven, Federer. Can't fault the execution of those two serves right when he needed it. Pressure back on Djokovic. Novak Djokovic will be so disappointed with that and the next 10 or 15 minutes are going to be interesting because Federer having played the amount of matches he has here at Wimbledon it's his ninth final for goodness sake he's going to know that his opponent is going to be winded surely at, at this point whether he can do anything about that remains to be seen these are the numbers from the first set Tim Henman what do you see time well, I think from Djokovic's point of view, what's going to be difficult to stomach is that's probably the, the cleanest, most consistent set of tennis he's played perhaps in the whole tournament, and he's lost it. So, uh, you know, 60% first serves is, is good. 83% up is, is significantly up on his tournament performance. Likewise, with the second serve points won. Second sets. No break points for either man. To serve. So little to see between them. Set point Thank goes back for Novak Djokovic, Federer uh, set up. Here comes set number two. 15 love. Thirty forty. Wait. 
That's some shot on the run. Advantage Djokovic. For a double-hander to, to get his body around there and hit it with such pace, that's incredible. To me, Djokovic hit the fantastic return there to get Federer on the defensive, and then he never really pulled the trigger on any of the other ground strokes. Pulled out wide, tries to push off. into that, got inside the court. Juice. Caught the ball at the top of the bounce and was able to hit the ball flat up the line. Service game of the championship for Roger Federer. And he's only lost one serve. Amazing stuff. Two break points saved there. Tremendous reaction from Djokovic from the disappointment, losing the first set. Took a heavy tumble as well, got up, hit another clean winner. Djokovic had a couple set points to, to win the first set, then a couple break points to go up a, an early break here in the second. Federer has been equal to the task, so I think the pressure now. After the fall, Joker's a little bit stretching out. Going to see what happens here. Interesting game. Big game for him. Fifteen left.
15 all. Thirty-fifteen. Forty-fifteen. Game all, second set. Okay, so Novak Djokovic has just called for the trainer there. James Kaothavong will uh, call through. Referee's office first, and there's a direct line into the training room in the center court locker room. A dedicated line. Clay Snipeman from uh, Utah, who's an American physio. He's actually on the court at the moment, so no doubt a medical timeout at the next change of ends. <laughs> Deadly. Djokovic is exerting this classic pressure that he brings. And he picked up the pace on those returns. Wasn't satisfied with just getting the ball in play. Did something with it. A little something special. left knee, but that's what will be treated in a minute. Don't you? And while the physio's on, he might want to have a look at that poor Lions lady who's been hit twice in the last four points. <laughs> Many aspects testing Djokovic's resolve, the loss of the first set, the loss of the breakpoint opportunities. Slow Love 30 knee. here. Djokovic. That double fault was a result of the pressure Djokovic is putting on. Caught this one late. Don't want to hit ball kids. Oh yeah, you got disqualified, didn't you? Your first Wimbledon. Snipeman comes on court. 
to, uh, Djokovic leads to trick somebody to that has just hit sets. the cleanest backhand First pass of all time to break serve. Uh, just a precautionary thing, a fall a couple of games ago. Clay's got a couple of twins back at home. Now, they're under quite a bit of pressure, these uh, physiotherapists. They're not just trainers. They, they have to come out and make a diagnosis with the cameras of the world upon them. And after that diagnosis has been made, they will then have a medical timeout of three minutes if the player and the physio so choose. Left ankle. He just pushed off with the left, didn't he, there, and it went, and it was just a bang straight down, wasn't it? So a bruising. These courts may be called grass courts, but certainly at the back of the court, they're like concrete. After two weeks of play, it's dried out. The earth's incredibly hard, so when you fall on it, if you, you know, land on a bony part of the body, it will be pretty painful. It's not the grass that you find in your back garden, is it? That's for sure. No. It, it looked like he was uh, messing with his ankle a little bit. It, was it his ankle or his yeah, knee? Ankle. ankle? So. <laughs> Mum and daughter keeping an eye on Roger on the court. <laughs> it's quite an event, this Wimbledon final, isn't it? This uh, Time. center court is just, an, it's just the most amazing atmosphere to, to hear it building over the course of the morning. In the atmosphere, and it's got the loudest silence of any sporting venue I've ever been in. Really wonderful. So, treatment uh, concluded. And yes. certainly, credit where credit's due. You know, Djokovic is feel disappointed to have lost that first set and got the first break of the match. and be keen to hold on to his serve now and try and regain the momentum. And the clouds have parted in Ditching more love. ways than one. And with that, the court dries out becomes more slippery on the top surface. Could be a factor. Mm. 30 love. You know, we're down almost on court level, and it's fun to see the shape of the ball with all the top spin as it's coming over the net. And flattens out. Let's for service. Uh, that's our home, just behind Novak. <laughs> Send supplies, we could be here a while. Thought he'd love to deuce. Deuce. Better regain his concentration. Just break serve. Has a 40 love lead. That would be devastating for him to lose this game now.
advantage, Djokovic. Let's for service. think that turning this into an attritional contest would play into Djokovic's hands given fitness given the way they play age Djokovic. No, I think Roger would like to have that one back again. So the drop volley hit with a little more pace. trying to back up the break of serve achieved previously. Struggling to get through this service game, but he's controlling Advantage, it. Djokovic. It's just got a Djokovic feel about it this last 10 or 15 minutes, hasn't it? Hasn't he done well? Djokovic leads by three games to one, second set. 24 minutes for four games. It's quite a lot. Federer made him work for that game, though. Sometimes you get a lot out of even losing a game, and, and I, I think Fed there kind of sent a message to Novak that you better take your advantage when you can get it. Changed a bit, hasn't it? The sheer athleticism of these two players. Court seems small. Thirty love. Hey, that's unbelievable. And it came back. That's yeah. unbelievable yeah. too. Ooh. Poor boy would have had to have been quick in his lips. But maintaining his composure. Ouch. Oh, could have been. Could have been the temple shot. Ooh. Fourteen. 
Again, Federer. Djokovic leads by three games to two. Second set, first set, Federer. So, Tim Henman, tell me about the time that you were disqualified from Wimbledon for hitting a oh. ball. <laughs> Magnificent. Thank you for bringing that up. What happened? Just a mm. glancing blow there. Yours glancing was an accident too, wasn't it? Absolutely. I bumped into Jeff Taranga this morning, who I was playing against that day in doubles with my partner Jeremy Bates, and he was he was trying to celebrate the 20th anniversary of it. But uh, no, it was rather unfortunate. We were up two sets to one. I hasten to add, so we were in the four-set tiebreak, um, very close to winning the match, and and uh, I sort of hit a ball away in a little bit of frustration, but not anger. You nailed and, um, it. You were, you were living. No, I didn't. <laughs> But what unfortunately happened? for me, the ball girl was the other side of the net, and, and just as I was hitting the ball down the other end because it was their serve in the tiebreak, she unfortunately popped her head up and, and I hit her on the ear. And, and uh, <laughs> ten minutes later, Alan Mills was on the court and, and I got a red card. So uh, That's, it. That's a bad attitude, Tim, really. It is. I mean, <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing I've got on McEnroe. He never got disqualified at Wimbledon. So you apologised the next day, didn't you, Tim? Big bouquet of flowers and a kiss, and all was forgotten. I hope. Till now. 3-2. Okay. Second set. Djokovic serving with a break of serve. Looks like Fabregas. Do you know who that is, Jimmy? <laughs> Just signed for Chelsea. Fifteen all. Let's for service. T fifteen. Djokovic leads by four games to two, second set. Well, after a struggle on his last serve, it was a comfortable game for, for Djokovic. Fifteen all. Thirty 
Dirty to Jean. Forty thirty. Game Federer. Djokovic leads by four games to three, second set, first set Federer. Isn't it fascinating to watch Roger Federer just keep time at bay here? 32 years of age, four children now. Been in so many Wimbledon finals, beat Philippoussis and, and Roddick on three occasions. Nadal, great match in 2008. It's the only time he's ever lost in the final. These, uh, these long rallies, eventually, you would think, would, would go to uh, Djokovic. The last three or four of those, Djokovic has, has actually won them, so those stats have even up a bit. But it's, you know, think areas like this, I mean, how much are you aware of what's going on when you're actually out on the court? I don't think they'll be you know, totally aware of that, but I thought it was a fascinating stat from the first set that Federer was winning 7 out of 10 of those points when there were 10 or more shots. And uh, in this second set, that is where Djokovic has started to have a bit more of an impact. Glamorous occasion here. But, uh, no need for the roof, which is great news. Been out there so many times, Jimmy. What do you make of the final one? Oh, there's nothing like it, really. I mean, you 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 pass out onto the court as you're just just a, the walk out here is tremendous. But the crowd and, and what the, what they expect, the history behind what they've seen here, and the great players that have been on that court, they expect high level. And, and what we're seeing now is tennis at its best. It just seems to come off his forehand just a little bit instead of staying with it, hitting through the ball. It was not criticism, it was an explanation. You don't get to where he is by making too many mistakes. Some, uh, former players up there in the competitors area, Thomas Enquist, Wayne Ferreira. See Djokovic slipping just in the same area where he had to fall, and I think that's where it gets a little bit dusty as the match goes on. It's these long rallies again, over time, over five sets. It's not going to suit Federer, surely. 14-15. But what can he do about it? Try and keep it short, you get picked off at the net. You know, it's, 
It seems to answer your question, Andrew, that, that what he has to do about it Joe is like he did in the first set, that he wasn't three, afraid six, to, to chip and come in behind it and, and uh, maybe catch uh, Novak a little bit late. A volley. Fifteen love. Well, that helps. Game Federer. Djokovic leads by five games to four. Second set. First set Federer. I see Mirka Federer up there. She's had twins just uh, two months ago. Must be a big entourage. The uh, Federers say that it's okay traveling with the second set because they got used to <laughs> traveling with the first set first. Mm. So add two more, no problems. Let's not forget the nine staff and two cooks. and <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like out there. We've got the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in the uh, roll box today. They've got baby George at home somewhere. Uh, presumably not alone. But they're big tennis fans. Just over Wandsworth Bridge, they've got a club they play at on a regular basis. Nobody ever knows when they're coming in, but they have no problem making court bookings. Pretty good. And the Duchess is a member here. Honorary member. Academy Award nominees up there and uh, jokers in commentary boxes all over the place. <laughs> it's a good job we haven't Time. caught him doing yeah. something with his shit there. Was he your toughest opponent, Jimmy? Uh, in one way, he was. Uh, he was a servant volley and uh, gave me all kinds of fits. Uh, Borg, on the other hand, was a, a different kind of opponent. Uh, never let me know what he was thinking, so that, that made it kind of tough on me. Okay, big moments in the final of Wimbledon 2014. Now, that Djokovic was serving to make it one set all. Hour and a half played of this final match. Let's. For service. <laughs> Fifteen love. All. You hear by Federer's reaction, he's keen to try and break back, get back on level terms. Thirty fifteen. Federer would love a look at a second serve here. Oh, 
too much. Once again, I think the Federer movement made Novak take his eye off the ball. Federer's first break point of the, of the match and Djokovic found the line with the first serve. It just stopped on Federer. He couldn't get a clean strike. Advantage Djokovic. So pleased with that. An hour and 34 minutes played. It's a best of three set match from here for the championship. Great composure. Djokovic on seven. Novak Djokovic playing for the Wimbledon title but also playing for the world's number one ranking. Roger Federer will move to number three in the world at the end of this tournament no matter what happens. Nadal will remain uh, as number one. Gregor Dimitrov will rise to number nine in the world after his semi-final showing, a first semi-final at Grand Slam level and uh, what a contribution he's made you know, to this grass court season. Andy Murray at his lowest ranking for a few years at number ten. Came in as the defending champion and really didn't play his best on this very court against Grigor Dimitrov. The role of honor so far, Irani and Vinci, well done to them in the women's doubles. They complete a career grand slam of the doubles. And it was Vasek Pospisil and Jack Sock, the uh, Canadian-American team, who won the men's doubles over the Bryans last night. Tremendous match if you're watching it here on the BBC. And well done to Petra Kvitova, a second Wimbledon championship for her. Defeating Gina Bouchard, who's probably feeling awful today. If you put yourself in these positions and uh, you give yourself these chances, sometimes it goes your way and sometimes it doesn't. But it must be tough to take a, uh, a hammering in these situations. But this is certainly not one sided. What do we think from here, Jimmy Collins? I'm saying that Federer looking to, at the end of this tournament, to be number three no matter what, he's not looking for that. He's looking no. for the number. He's looking to be number one again, and and that's what he's uh, out here doing his business for on this, uh, on this great uh, stadium that he's playing in right now. Uh, Djokovic to come in uh, after losing the first set to to win that set. Tremendous effort. I thought he was a little bit down at the beginning. Comes right out in the second set and and, uh, and kind of takes charge and control. You know we're in now. We're in a two out of three set match now from right here, and and uh, we've gone from a a marathon to really a sprint. You know, so uh, no letdown from either player. They're going to have to come out and 
and continue this high level of play and whoever gets on top is going to feel the comfort of it. Gary Clare and Jack Nicklaus, regular visitors to the All England Club Grand Slam champions, major champions all. Toilet for the Open Championship in a couple of weeks' time. You can see that in the lead. Third set is British Women's Open. Next week at World Cup time as well. And they'll be doing well if the greens are as hard as this centre court here. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Forty love. Forty fifteen. Forty thirteen. Again, Federer. First game, third set. Lull in proceedings here, isn't it? As we settle into the third set, play is supposed to be continuous after the first game, but just getting well, themselves organized. What a crucial set this is! And a couple of comfort breaks. Uh, both boys uh, left the court and back in action here. I wonder if the the crowd here knows exactly what they're seeing. You know, with the level of play that both players are able to produce. Thirty love. Fifteen. 
Oh, yeah. what a shot. Oh. That approach by One Federer was set, set. tremendous. He's moving forward, and now look at this. He just takes it and just flicks the ball cross court. The angle on that was incredible. And when he dips that shoulder, you think sometimes he's going to hit the topspin lob. Federer was perhaps a little bit further back from the net. Both players capable of keeping the ball at such good length. Every shot in that rally landing about three feet from the baseline. 30 love. Is that Hugh Jackman again? He's got a permanent seat in there. Loves it. 40 love. Looks a little different according to the role, doesn't he? <laughs> Certainly does. Federer leads by two games to one. Third set, one set off. Did you have any idea who was watching you, Jimmy? Because, I mean, you posed the question, do, 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 you, do these people know what they're watching with the, the standard of the tennis? But did you know what was going on from the court looking out? I did. The yeah, did you know who was yeah there? I mean, I, I looked around a little bit. I didn't uh, keep my concentration just throughout the, the course of the whole match, once the ball was in play, of course. But uh, I looked around and... You played in the you, golf with Samuel? I haven't. Uh, I hear he's pretty darn good. I played with, him, him? played with him in Scotland a couple of years ago, and, and uh, he's a good golfer and he's a seriously cool man. <laughs> it's a great Roy Emerson right behind Samuel L. Jackson. Yes. Who else have we got in there? Let's do some unashamed celeb spotting. We should be better mention Phil Brook, otherwise Tim Hennard will be fired from the chairman in the front row, front row and centre. Seats quickly, please. It's not a time, an invitation that you turn down lightly, is it? It's one of the great sports events. And this is uh, quietly building. The last 10 minutes, the quality has remained. No breaks. First set to Roger Federer on a tiebreaker. Djokovic with the early break and backing it up in the second set. It's an hour and 46 play. Djokovic serving 1-2. Third set. Clever oh. change of tactic there from Federer. Just played the short slice, brought Djokovic in and did very well to control the half volley onto the outside edge of the line. Fifteen on. Thirty 
1415. Two games or third sets. All the talk was about Federer's serve coming into this match, having only just lost his serve once in six matches. But it's Djokovic that's done a fantastic job so far, serving at 65% first serves win, winning 80% behind the first serve and 60% behind the second serve. 15 love. Such a smart play. Saw Djokovic a little bit late. Got in behind it. Easy volley into the open court. 40 love. by three games to two. Third set, one set off. Just to back up what Tim Henman has been talking about, the first serves in, anything over 60% when they're serving as accurately as this is pretty good, 65 and 68% for the two players. A points one, a little higher for Djokovic on the first, and second serve points one usually illustrates the slightly longer rallies from the back of the court are going towards the higher percentage there. And this wasn't the case in the first set. It it was certainly Federer that was on top in those departments, and as we've seen them ma the match turn around slightly, with Djokovic getting the second set. It really is nip and tuck here for this third set, which could prove crucial. New boots for Novak Djokovic. They do tend to wear out the pimples on the, on the soles of these grass court shoes, made specially for this, this season. Time just behind the baselines it's it's almost like a hard court so those pimples do wear out and you get ball patches which are not useful they've played an hour and 51 minutes they, they both have covered a lot of court any fatigue in the legs from not court? yet no I don't think so both in phenomenal shape Federer having only dropped one set coming into the final he looks fresh Djokovic played a six-hour final of the Australian Open, so he's probably just warming up still. He can handle it. Federer doing such a good job of soaking up the pressure from Djokovic, and he's the one that's always looking to try and get forward. Now, the, the big question here is, 
did the call in any way, shape or form affect what Novak Djokovic did there? And the answer, of course, is no, because it was a half volley virtually from Djokovic. The ball was on the baseline. So shouldn't this be Federer's no, point? By you, precedent, you replay the point. Because the call was before the contact from Djokovic, but there we are. Federer will just have to put that as pipe and smoke it. Oh. Oh, just too long. And that, that's going to make him feel a little upset. It's a big point. Love 15 serving 2-3 for Djokovic. And the way that Djokovic played the shot, it was almost like he was encouraging the out call. Still shaking his head just a little bit. 13-15. How many times on a big point do we see Chuck? Forty thirty. Pounding the corners with that first serve. Tremendous match play. Game Djokovic. Three games all, third sets. Now Roger shaking his head again at the end of that game. He knew how, bi how big a point that was to go up love 30. Had a chance to go up love 30. Questionable call. I'm not going to say any more about that. Forty love. I think this is a shot you try when you're love 40 down and it works. <laughs> by four games to three, third set, one set all. It's, it's always nice to see new people emerge, like Jeannie Bouchard into a Grand Slam final, but you never know how they're gonna react. We knew how these two would react. This is a 14th Slam final for Djokovic, a 25th for, uh, for Federer. They knew what to expect, and they really are producing that. Yeah, and after yesterday's match, you know, the women's final went very quickly, uh, 55 minutes, and, and uh, you know, Kvitova played such good tennis that uh, it was, incredible but to come out and, and to see you know two champions play and goes you know sometimes you can be disappointed I mean it happens in the game of tennis but you know when you when you're the kind of champions that the two these two players are they raise their game to a level 
to fit the occasion. And certainly the finals of Wimbledon is the occasion. Nothing left in the locker. Excellence. Mr. Clive knows all about that, getting the best out of yourself. How do you see it from here? Time. I think this set's going to be crucial. I mean, I, I picked uh, Federer before the match, and I'm going to stick with it. But, uh, yeah, the level of play, is it going to be a great shot? Is it going to be an unforced error that's going to make the difference here? And I think the defining moments of this match could be in the next 15, 20 minutes. Forty love. That's it. Ball goes into the crowd at the US Open. It doesn't necessarily get thrown back. And they said you can keep it now as a souvenir. So there's a play here. Quick hold from Djokovic. Four all, third set, Federer serving. Mr. Djokovic is challenging the ball on the right far side line. The ball's got in. Haven't been too many challenges today, and by both players' reaction, they think it was wide, but it wasn't. 15 low. Mr. Djokovic has two challenges remaining. Dirty low. by five games to four, third set, one set off. Well, we're into the heart of this match, and it's not just a match, I wouldn't find it. It's an occasion, and over the years, it's become tradition to sit up on the hill and on the big screen to enjoy uh, the final. We're on centre, of course, with the uh, roof introduced in 2009. Number one court will have a roof in 2019, and there is a uh, Hemon Hill. Huge redevelopment plans at the All England Club. It's called the Master Plan. And the whole idea is to keep it as the premier tournament in the world. And I don't think there's any problem with that. It's got the most prize money. It's got just under 500,000 people who come through the gates each year. <laughs> and there's not an awful lot of space out there. But uh, hello everybody and welcome to the the All England Club. We can hear you in here. Time. And actually, Novak Djokovic and Marin Cilic, who played on court number one, could hear the centre court match going on and wanted the uh, match called off for a while because it was so noisy. 
Marion Bartley knows what it is to win. And this very quick, 12 months ago, she retired in the summer following. So not defending this year, but uh, part of our team will be this year. So serving to stay in the third set. Here, watch it. Again, nice idea from Federer trying to put the pressure on with Djokovic serving to stay in this set, but just not quite enough on the approach shot. Let's for service. lucky to see it but it was a That's great good. approach shot and a great volley by fed and and just whipped that cross court with the movement around the court by both players unbelievable stuff Because when you come in, this is what you face. It's incredible. 40 love. You've got to tip your hat. you just got to say too good. He came in on a great approach shot. Djokovic able to find the angle. But you have to do it, though, Tim. You, you, you've got to come in a little bit just to mi mix up the action, just so that you know the the rhythm of the of, of the match is able to spread out a little bit. It didn't pay off there for Federer, but it will be putting a little bit of doubt into Djokovic's mind if they get through to a tiebreak and he has to hit second serves. He'll be conscious that Federer is looking to take the net away from him. Fifteen love. Believe it or not, that shot's quite tricky. Half folly on the baseline. Thirty fifteen. Somebody who may have shouted in the crowd. 4015. Ladies and gentlemen, as a courtesy to both players, please remain quiet during the rally. Thank you.
In, but I think this one might be just wide. Indeed. Second service. But well, only uh, military personnel have got to get off the court. They all took Wait their this. positions there. They're all marching off. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> marching off uh, in good order. hitting from both players neither one of them willing to give an inch Juice. contrast of returns the Federer chip and come in now Djokovic is just trying to step in and put the ball hard and firm Djokovic with a great point. Come on. The ball hit by Ryan and Djokovic has crossed. It stopped up. Deuce. And he was ahead of the ball and he dragged it to his left and wide. Great point saved. These are the moments. These are the moments. Djokovic is sensing this. What a return to serve to set up his baseline attack. It's a second break point. His eyes on the prize here. Let's for service. Federer's 19th ace is certainly starting to add up. Yeah. And the 20th gets him out of a game where he saved two great points. Well, Federer leads by six games to five. Third set. One set of. You know, there's not many times that Roger Federer has walked out onto this court as a clear underdog. He was for this match. And to watch him, and to have watched him over the last three or four years, trying to adapt and find a way you know, to keep Djokovic and Nadal back, and to a degree Murray as well, and to resist the charge. It's wonderful to watch. Total winners illustrate the quality of the match. It's, it's not only um, amazing to see 90 winners and we're not even through with the, the third set, but I think it's also interesting to know that there's only been 
28 unforced errors from both players. But isn't it, the, isn't it the soul of the competitor that he bears as well at this point? I mean, most people at 32 with four kids and uh, ex <laughs> tens of millions in the bank would have said thanks. Yeah, but how often do you get to do this? Uh, uh, you know, to actually come out and, and, and play tennis for a living on the center time. court here at, uh, at Wimbledon. I mean, it's, it's what people dream of. That's why you never gave up. Yeah, you, I mean, what, you how old were you in your last Grand Slam? Uh, oh, I mean, that, it, that doesn't matter. But, but the idea is that, that, that you'll never do anything like this ever again. No matter, no matter what you get into, business, whatever, this is, this is the ultimate. And, and to be able to still do it at 32, 35, whatever, you, you'll do it until you can't do it any longer. And then it's time to go. Federer just forgetting that it was a change of balls, getting out the fresh racket. Dirty love. Forty love. Six games all, third set, tie break. Both players receive one additional challenge. placed it anywhere.
2-1, Djokovic. Tool. Four first serves to open up this third set tiebreaker. Mm. He is the best in the business on that backhand side. Three, two. Right. And I think Roger hesitated a little bit on whether he should go in or not behind that serve. Didn't quite catch the volley high enough. of Marion Vida and alongside him on occasion in order to help his man play the big points better Djokovic has suffered in Grand Slam finals losing the matches that he's earned the right to play and these are the points that the year is based on Call on the left baseline. The ball's good out. Pretty close. An immediate challenge there. Catch the ball. It did catch the back edge. Now what now? That's the second time that it's happened to him. All three. Wow. Well now hold on. That's a brave call, call and a good call from the umpire because the, the call came a long time after the Djokovic forehand. Good umpiring, good hitting from Federer. He's back in the breaker. It's 3 4. Oh, it's it's just loose. Anxious, hasn't yeah. it? On the forehand. Five, three. A little loose. Djokovic. He had it in his sights.
That is brilliant work from Novak Djokovic. He gave nothing in that tiebreaker. And he has his reward. Two sets to one in the women and men's singles to final to Djokovic. You know, you get statistics and numbers and bits of paper flying back and forward. And of course, in a final of Wimbledon, it doesn't come down to any of that sort of thing. The uh, number of consecutive Grand Slam final defeats at four, you've got Landl, Roddick and Murray, and Djokovic doesn't want anything to do with that. He's fighting like a man possessed now, but he really is. You don't yeah. often see Roger Federer serving at 83% <laughs> first serves and yeah. losing a set. No, that's right. I think that puts in perspective how well Novak Djokovic played and 14 winners and only two unforced errors in a 13-game set is pretty impressive. And just a little bit of anxiety from Roger Federer, two, three, second serve Djokovic. He tries to hit a forehand down the line for a winner and he, and he, and he miss hits it. I mean, look, it's not a hit. I think, the, big, I think the bigger point was the uh, Federer serving 3-4. He hit the good first serve, he had the forehand and he just dragged it wide. That's his bread and butter. These matches can be decided by such fine margins. Yeah, that but that's the pressure missed. of the moment, right, Tim? Absolutely. And Djokovic did well. He wasn't going to give any ground uh, the last couple of points. He was willing to keep the ball in play and let Federer either hit the winner or make the mistake. Four sets, Djokovic to serve. Djokovic has to avoid the letdown. I just hope the darling referred to was in the shot there. Anyway. Federer has to dig in deep now. Two and a half hours in this sort of atmosphere, plus the build-up beforehand. It'll take its toll, mental concentration. Today on Centre Court that was inaugurated in 2009 with Amelie Marismo and Dinara Safina. We might get a couple of spots of rain later on. Could help Federer. Oh. Forty love. Game Djokovic. First game, four sets. And Tim Rogers got to keep his feet moving here. He's uh, covered a lot of court in two and a half hours and can't get lazy on his footwork. Fifteen left. Oh, 
Djokovic this time found a, a, a piece of green on this grass court and slid with both feet. 30 level. Didn't land from too high up, but he was going at speed here, chasing this one. Oops, left leg. Plays well 30, when he's 15. slightly injured. <laughs> Bang. Forty fifteen. Extension on the left, wasn't there? A bit of a shock when that happens. Game Federer. <laughs> One game more, four sets. Used to seeing those kind of marks on a clay court. Has controlled that one, wasn't it? He never lets any ball bounce twice, does he? Fifteen love. Thirty fifteen. This is uh, a bit strange from Roger Federer there, isn't it? Pretty casual. Um... Djokovic leads by two games to one, four sets, and by two sets to one. Taking the uh, let, you know, just sort of between the legs, hitting the ball, just a little down in concentration for a second, or is he, is he tired? No, I can't say that he's tired. I mean, he's certainly been uh, put through the ringer out here for two and a half hours. Both players have, but... You know, maybe just a little bit of a lull in this concentration, but you know he doesn't have the luxury of uh, of having one of those. He needs to win two sets now to to win this match. Djokovic, on the other hand, you know he needs to win one of the next two. Yeah, so if he has a little lull, it might fit him a little bit, but he doesn't want to take the chance of getting into a fifth set with Federer. Djokovic just wants more of the same. He's been fantastic in so many different aspects. He's given Federer so little to to really get his teeth into, and he'll be looking to now maintain the momentum, serving first in the fourth set. He's up two sets to one. He'll be really looking to try and seize another break of serve. Only been one break so far. A uh, big year, no matter what happens. <laughs> oh, for her, certainly. Good time. And uh, for Yelena Ristik as well. Novak Djokovic's uh, girlfriend and uh, fiance. She's expecting late October. Their, uh, their first child together, and the twins for Roger Federer, a second set. <laughs> US Open in a few weeks' time on the hard courts will conclude the Grand Slam year. This is the third of the four major championships, the final of Wimbledon.
number 15. It's definitely a down moment. Yep. A little loose on a few shots. Not used to seeing him double fall. He served so well so far throughout the tournament and this finals. loose again I think is might be getting a little tired as movement has certainly dropped a level Novak on the other hand is right on top of every shot this would be a good game to win as they say love 40. Juice. Advantage Djokovic needs that serve now, doesn't he? Djokovic leads by three games to one. Fast running six. water, acting on rock. He just wears you down. Eight points in that game and eight return of serves by Djokovic. It's unbelievable. I wonder if Federer's got anything left. We'll find out right now.
15. by Federer's reaction, he was pretty confident this ball was long. You can't bluff Hawkeye. Ooh. <laughs> That's 30. Enough 30. Mr Djokovic has two challenges remaining. By the sounds of this, there's a few Thank people you. in here that fancy a fifth set. Leads, but three in this standing ovation, is against to one. Djokovic. It's just you get to know somebody over the years, and you get to love somebody on this court. And they loved watching Roger Federer, and he was out of it. When he lost his serve, he looked like he needed to call a timeout. Well, that's the mark of a champion, right? To come right back and break serve right away. But you know, the, uh, impressive about that game is. It, Djokovic did not give him anything. Federer earned every shot and, and made, came up with the goods when it uh, when it was necessary. And he deserves to be back in this. We got uh, got ourselves a four set here. Oh, the uh, the nature of playing Djokovic and Nadal acknowledged top two time the last few years.
He knew it right away. Should have taken it. Where does he serve on this huge point? Probably the best returner of all time. Federer just indicating that he was slightly put off by something. Once again, as a courtesy to both players, please stay as quiet as you can during the rally. Thank you. Now he needs a first serve here for sure. Let's first service. And how resilient is he? Djokovic leads by four games to two, fourth set. It's amazing. You have one break of serve in three and a half sets, and then suddenly you've had three in a row. And Djokovic will be so keen to take his time here and Thank you. play a strong service game. You can almost see the finish line. This was off the Federer return. I mean, even that is quality. 15 low. Looks like a shovel, but he went back deep with it. Kept his eye on the ball. Approach, wasn't it? He picked it off. And you know that even when Federer's behind, he's going to be even more aggressive. Going to go for everything.
Nacho. T30. He's not calling for quiet now, is he? Game point. Game, Djokovic. Tough stuff from Djokovic. He's a game away. Djokovic leads by five games to two, fourth set, my two sets to one. Was that 30 all point okay for you, Jimmy Connors? Well, <laughs> that, that's why we're here. I mean, that's what we want to see. And, and it was impressive that uh, uh, Djokovic, he kept the ball in play, satisfied with keeping the ball deep until he saw his chance to move forward, then got in there with the ball well, uh, well above the net so that he could hit the volley with some stick so that uh, didn't give uh, Roger the chance to give him a good passing shot. Even then, Federer had the forehand, didn't he? That was kind of the point of the game. Well, it was, but I mean, the courage and conviction of Djokovic, he knows that he's got the opportunity here, but he can't just keep the ball in play because Federer is going to be so aggressive. And that, for me, was such a big game there to actually establish the break of serve to get the 5-2 lead. And the crowd are going to rise to both players, notably Federer, in a few seconds' time, because they know that uh, this great champion, and they both are, uh, is on the verge here. He's thrown everything. The Rogers got to take care of business here. He's got to he sure win. Does. Time. Tennis balls for Roger Federer. Fifteen love. Forty love.
Let's process. This game feels 14. like a prelude to the next. Where Djokovic could be serving for the championship. And nobody knows how hard it is to win Djokovic leads by five the last games to game four sets. of a Grand Slam championship like Novak Djokovic. Look what he made Andy Murray go through last year for 11 and three quarter minutes. So he'll be taking nothing for granted. One final push from Federer, or is it all over? Let's first service. Fifteen thirty. Gutsy second serve there from Djokovic, one of his fastest of the match, 108 miles an hour. Forced the error from Federer. Mr. Djokovic is challenging the call on the left far side line. The ball's got out. Well, when you do challenge between your own first and second serve, you do disrupt your rhythm if you're wrong, and he is wrong. Second service.
Djokovic is on the floor. And Federer has both them back. Djokovic leads by five games to four, four sets. That was a handy two point. Sets to one. From the Mr. second Djokovic serve to the last remaining. forehand down the line, that was amazing. But to, to me, uh, at the beginning of that game, it looked like Djokovic was playing not to lose as opposed to go out there and to win, whereas Roger was looking to, to take any aggressive action he could to take the play right to him. And uh, so he got behind Love 30. And Roger got a little confidence and uh, played a great game. And that last running forehand was not easy no. because he knew that Djokovic was down in the corner, but he couldn't just push the ball. He had to commit to the shot. He ripped around the outside of the ball to get the control. Time. Three hours of play in this men's singles final at Wimbledon. Federer was 2-5 down. He's now 4-5 down. It's always the challenge to stay in the present tense, and I think Djokovic might still be thinking about that forehand at the first point of the game at 15. Second serve there from Federer, 110 miles an hour. It's brave when you make it, stupid when you miss it. Djokovic, two points from victory. challenging a call on the service line. The ball's got out. Oh. Juice. That's the way to 
save a match point. Quite this. a big return off a big first serve there. Juice. Advantage Federer. Calm himself down, step to the line, and hold serve here because Thank he you. must be rocked. Ladies and gentlemen, players are ready. Thank you. Aced on a championship point. Deterred the seven time champion. <laughs> Previous failings haven't deterred Federer. You just wonder whether. Djokovic having served for the championship and lost it, having lost in his last three Grand Slam finals, five of the last six. Will those doubts creep in? Thirty forty.
it's a break, it's four games in a row. And there's no script here on centre court. And we have no idea how long the performance is going to last either. Federer leads by six games to five. Four sets, Djokovic by two sets to one. Listen to this. <laughs> set final since 2009 it was the great Federer Roddick 16-14 in the fifth I think we might have one here all Federer's going to do is hold serve <laughs> it's all he's got to do but when there's been five breaks of serve in this set it's just so difficult to predict what's going to happen but the fortitude that Federer has shown to keep the belief keep the levels high this is what they want, Jimmy. Well, he put the pressure on, on Djokovic when it counted, and, and Novak had his chance. Uh, sometimes you only get one chance, and to not take advantage of it, that's playing on his mind a little bit right now. So Federer has to keep that aggressive style to come through and to win this set. Thank you. Ready for play. Certainly in these crucial games, the first point can sometimes prove so important. We saw that when Djokovic served for the match at 15 all. Federer maintaining the theme of finishing the point at the net. But quick to pick up that Djokovic was about six or eight feet behind the baseline to move forward. Two points to take us into a fifth. It's out. It's five games in a row. Federer has saved the match point and we're going the distance. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. Extraordinary. Digging deep. When required. A 17 Grand Slam, 17 time Grand Slam champion. And finding a way to climb back into this match. But aided and abetted by the 15,000 people in centre court. We just did not know when to quit. Four, five down, ace, championship point down, and whilst we focus on Federer. And the glory, I better wait him if he can win an eighth championship. How do you suppose Novak Djokovic is feeling at this point? Five-two up, questions asked about him. 
as he has taken disappointment after disappointment. The crowd need a breather. We don't have any players on set. Should we? Tim, get your shorts on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. There's no one out there. How do you think Djokovic feels at this point, and uh, how do you recover from the body blow that he's taken? One well, point from certainly, the championship. certainly, this is going to be a massive strength of character, and, and uh, you know, to leave the court for a quick comfort break is probably no bad thing. Just to try and regain his thoughts, his composure, and really needs to get off to a strong start in this fifth because the momentum has been ripped away from him. Two universally admired sportsmen, these, and not just by tennis players, but you know, the world of sport and theatre and cinema and television. They know what they're looking at, because this stage, no one knows what is going to happen on it. Stage is set, isn't it? It was a five-set match, then we said it was a, a best-of-three set match, and now it's one set to decide it all. Across the parquet floor, and a quick look over from Roger Federer, where he will see his name engraved seven times. <laughs> the famous walk on the centre court. And if the engraver was standing by. To put uh, a, a name, a little bit ahead of himself, right? Yeah, he would have been. <laughs> Interesting to see how Djokovic comes out in this fifth set after having 5 2, serving for the match, a match point on Federer's serve. Can he lift himself back up? A match point where the serve was called out. Right. I mean, once yep. again, Hawkeye, uh, this, this system that has changed the game so much, proving its worth. Look at Nick Kyrgios against Richard Gasquet earlier in this tournament. An overrule keeps him in the tournament. He goes on and beats Nadal a couple of days later. It's and an let's important fa system. And let's face it, it's a very, very difficult job. And certainly, you know, as 15,000 people in this stadium can feel the nerves and the tension. The Hemsworth. Hemsworth need their help. Sorry, Chris Hemsworth is uh, up in the, the Royal Box and having a good time as well. Looking a bit more disheveled than he was. A few Final minutes six. ago, that was an amazing end to the fourth to set. Now, what in store for us in the fourth? Nobody knows. Fifteen love. Thirty fifteen. First game, final sets. First game in six for Djokovic. Finally, something goes his way. That's a settler for him going into this decider.
15 left. Fortilla. Game Federal. <laughs> One game more, final sets. <laughs> oh, it's great to see you on Henman Hill. And wonderful, the weather has been good. And we have a fifth set. Thirty love. It's to me like Djokovic is moving a little slow, a little gingerly on his. Is it his knee or? Or is he just working his way into this set? Maybe. I'll certainly look out for that, Jimmy. I think you're right. I think he's... 30 for team. Everything starts hurting a little bit when you have a championship point. It was on his racket. It was his to win or lose. Forty thirty. Djokovic leads by two games to one, final set. Nobody has ever played more in the Grand Slam championships than these two, but they've only ever played one final, which seems surprising to me, 2007 US Open. But the two semi-finals they played at the US Open in 2011 and 2010 were two of the classic matches. Both went 7-5 in the fifth, and Djokovic won them both. Does that have relevance now, or is that just a fact? Well, I mean, you can look back and, and you can see what happened in stats and, and everything. We've talked about that before. But uh, to me, uh, it looks that Federer, who is 32 years old, looks the fresher of the two. He's got a little more bounce. Got the adrenaline going. He does. He's got a bounce in his step, and and, uh, and and he feels like you know he's he's lucky to still be in this. Right calf, Clay Snipeman having a look at, look at there. I think for the trainer to come back onto the court, Djokovic would have to have another injury. Not looking at the, the right ankle. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Djokovic is now receiving a medical timeout. He's got some pains in his body. I think he's also got a pain in the head. <laughs> After well, that, I tell you what, he's got a pain in something else in the other side of the net. It just wouldn't go away. He's got Gebhard Filkrich and Milan Emanovic with him, the physio and trainer. But your own physios and trainers can't come out onto the court at this time. But they always talk to uh, and liaise with the official tournament physios. Uh, there's a north dressing room, there's a south dressing room, and there's a, a centre court dressing room. And there's different teams in each one, but they're Clay here is a, a very very senior staff member. And he's of, he's travelling on the ATP tour, so he's with the players week in, week out, so he knows you know any areas that they've got niggles in and Yeah, but you hate to see this in a you know in a match that's gone the way this one has, you know, we, we are the fifth set at the finals of Wimbledon, you hate to see an injury have a an impact on the outcome. Remember that Novak has just finished that game off with an ace. He's actually 2 1 up. So, whatever it is, it certainly doesn't appear to be terminal from his efforts. Last year, it was all such a different story with Andy Murray winning in straight sets against Djokovic, who no doubt was feeling the effects of four and three quarter hours against Juan Martin del Potro in the semi final. I mean, I'm not saying that affected the outcome of the match, but. He knows about attrition. And he would expect to be able to go five hours, wouldn't he, generally speaking? Definitely, and, and there's a thing to remember about uh, Murray's win last year on finals day. It was incredibly hot out on the court, and today is it's almost the perfect conditions for tennis. It's, it's warm, but it's not going to sap your energy from that point of view. Three and a half hours is, is pretty long, but... They certainly played a lot longer, but also the pressure has something to do with that too. Saps you a little bit mentally and physically, you know. So everything that uh, both players have been through, they've covered a lot of court, that's for sure. But you know, the ups and downs and uh, of this match is uh, they've been interesting. Jimmy, you weren't with us last year for the final, but Tim and I had never heard a noise on centre court like when Tim won Olympic gold. Andy. Was Federer in 2000. So was it? I wish I won Olympic gold. Oh. <laughs> but it was Andy. Andy. Oh, sorry. Well, well, yes, he won silver. <laughs> We'd never heard a noise like it. And it, that, it really was. He was against 15,000 people, plus Andy Murray last year. Well, it, it kind of seems that way right here, right now, that uh, the crowd have certainly gotten behind Federer. That when he was down 5-2 in the fourth, uh, the, you know, the chance of Roger, Roger. So... One, two, fifth set. Very different body language from both players. Two games or final sets. The uh, seven-time champion, Roger Federer, just changing racket for the first game, returning with the new tennis rules. Players favour that. <laughs> nice quick game for Federer to make it two all. He'll be keen to make a quick start here. Two all for set.
15. Total points one, parity at 163, but the last five have gone to Federer. was a chance for Federer, love 15. Djokovic didn't come in on the best approach and he couldn't make him hit that volley. Djokovic is challenging the call on the right baseline. The ball's got in. Did it drop in with the top spin? Don't think so. No. Djokovic watched it go through, didn't he? Yeah. 30 for team. It's 0 for 4 for a serve so far this game. Djokovic leads by three games to two, final set. Well, Djokovic had 15 hours of tennis before playing this final. They've been out there for over three and a half hours. Federer only spent 10 hours on court. I don't know whether any of that comes into it at this point. It's the emotional energy which you uh, expend. And Djokovic is trying to still rebound from the disappointment and forget what happened in the fourth set. He was 5-2 up. The championship was there. He's had to answer all these questions about his character. After everything that he's achieved, he loses three of these things in a row. But, uh, he even talked about it in the press conference, how he felt that, that he needed to win. So he's having to dig deep. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's amazing when you have the, the match on your racket and, and then you let it go. Uh, the emotional roller coaster that you ride, and and uh, for him him now to come out and, and to start off and to play three good games like he has to be up three two on his serve was Time. unbelievably important to him. This this now, in my opinion, is is what tennis is all about. You throw out everything and you get down to business and, and you do what you know how to do, and the winner comes out.
Dirty love. Forty love. Three games all, final set. It's not a great feeling when your opponent keeps holding serve to love. You feel like the pressure's always coming back to your service games. Thank you. More questions to be answered here for Djokovic. Right now, it's the epitome of one ball, one shot at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Tremendous touch. That's you. Federer chose to keep the pressure on the Djokovic backhand. So well please. hit backhand passing shot, but Federer there for the for the taking. Djokovic. That's a courage. Djokovic not so comfortable moving forward. Down break point, three all in the fifth. He was still prepared to move forward. Djokovic still managed to control his technique under the greatest examination.
deuce. Advantage Djokovic. Djokovic leads by four games to three, final set. Well, this 27-year-old from Belgrade in Serbia, a fairly new nation. He's taken his country to Davis Cup victory, proudly flying the flag for his nation. You know, he's got uh, depths in his character, and it, it's what you demonstrate when you play sport. And you know, sometimes you think, well, look, it's not you know, war or anything. It's a, you have to maintain perspective. But it is wonderful watching players uh, digging so deep and producing their best out there, isn't it? Certainly is. I mean, at three all in the fifth, their break point, Djokovic was still had the courage and conviction to pull the trigger on those shots, and and he kept going for them. And but he waits till he's behind. You know what? What's wrong with doing that when you're when you're even or ahead to to kind of put a little doubt in in your opponent's mind? Federer, on the other hand, he's shown. I think uh, on a stat I saw he was uh, into net 60, 65 times. That's pretty good. Strokes. It's a, a Djokovic sort of rally. He likes that. He's got a platform here. Low 15. <laughs> 15 all. And 25 mile an hour serve came back with interest. Djokovic able to force the error. Oh, what a pass! Yeah. Off a great approach shot. 15 40. And again. The big serve comes back. Now it's Djokovic with two chances to break and serve out. Oh. <laughs> and that was a millimeter from going over.
Juice. Needs a first serve here. Second serve, but the pickup was exquisite. <laughs> oh dear. Advantage Federer. Thank you. is never going to play a better game without breaking. That was extraordinary. Up there with Federer and Nadal, 2006 for me. Wonderful. Federer response. Baseline. The ball is good in. Well, 15. Mr. Djokovic has two challenges remaining. Fifteen off.
Djokovic leads by five games to four, final set. It's in these moments where you find out, and so does everybody else, whether you've done the work. Djokovic has had to come back from disappointment after disappointment, starting with serving for the match in, uh, in the fourth set. He just had two break points the last game on Federer serve. So for him to come back and to, to, to hold serve the next game and, and to stay that one game ahead, it's been pretty impressive. Especially from Love 15 with the uh, Certainly. Cycle. Love 15 and then 15 all. Federer probably misses about five smashes all year and, and, and he would have liked that opportunity again to give himself 15-30. But the resilience that Djokovic has shown has been first class. Not surprised that his pregnant fiance Yelena is not here because I'll tell you what, the due date might be October. Um, <laughs> But anything could happen in this uh, in this atmosphere. It's uh, been a remarkable Time. final, and there's more to come. Tuning in once again. Djokovic step in and take a chance on this return. Second serve. That's unusual. Wow, that's unusual. Mr. Djokovic is he can't believe it. He's challenging right it because he's I missed the forehand from that position. That can only be pressure. The return was magnificent. 15 30. Mr. Djokovic has one challenge remaining. Wonderful, wonderful final. 